Let's talk about being visible. When I first started in lawn care, I didn't really give a lot of thought to high vis. I just wore whatever I could. Sometimes that would be a khaki shirt or a flannel shirt or something of that nature. But it occurred to me that here I am working on these public roads with traffic coming and going, and oftentimes I'm not looking at the traffic, I'm looking down, line trimming, blowing, and so forth. So I felt the need to wear high vis. Now, high vis is not a shield, but it will make you more visible to oncoming traffic. So, here I wanted to tell you about a shirt that I'm wearing. This is a shirt from Carhartt. You can see that it is, a, it is called a force shirt and if you look closely you can get an idea of the fabric that it has. It tends to breathe so I don't wear it with a t-shirt during the summer and because it's long sleeve I can get away without uh, wearing sunscreen. So there's a, a couple of benefits to it. Uh, I like this shirt basically because it helps me to stand out in the neighborhood. It's not technically high vis as far as the classifications are concerned from, from ANSI. There's a one, a class one, a class two, and a class three. But this one's not classified at all because it doesn't have the stripes that stand out in the night. So you can't really wear this if you're required to wear high vis, like working on a road crew or something. But for me, it works fine because I'm not required of that. And most of the time, I'm working in the daytime in the bright sunlight. So you can see this shirt very easily. One of the problems with wearing a high-vis shirt is that they fade out. And when they start fading, they lose some of their high-vis characteristics. So you may need to change your shirts out over a year or two. You'll have to just consider how much time you're in the sun. In my case, I'm in the sun quite a bit, so you can see some of the difference in the, the coloration. Another thing, it's nearly impossible to keep these shirts clean. When you're working under a lawnmower, they always get dirty. So you may want to throw on an old shirt when you're trying to clean the lawnmower while you're on the job. Help your shirt stay clean that way. There are times though that I have to work in the evening alongside a road, or maybe even after dark. In those cases, I do like to wear something with a high-vis reflective tape. And this particular garment is the Ocunomax OKSVL. OK it is size large. It is a class 2 garment. So the classifications have to do with the speed of the traffic on that particular road that you're working on. Okay, You'll have to look that up because I don't want to get into that in the video here. But the idea is that you can wear this in the evening time and you can stand out better because of the reflective tape. In this case, Reflexite is the name of the tape. Okay, maybe you can see that. And I really like this too, this Reflexite. This one works good for me and I just wanted to show that to you. Sometimes you're going to want to stand out even more, perhaps because of the speed of the traffic on the road or maybe it's just raining that day. Here's a high-vis raincoat that I happen to have. It's class three, ANSI class three. It has reflective tape all the way down to the bottom of my forearms, and it serves its purpose very well. This particular one is made by a company called Nice. You can see that. Just briefly, I wanted to touch on making your blower high vis. Here I just wrapped basic duct tape, bright orange, so that when I'm waving it around, maybe it'll make me a little more visible. So there's a few things that maybe you can take with you in your business. Perhaps with the customers you have see you wearing high vis, they'll look at you as more professional. You'll stand out in the neighborhood, people will remember you better, and hopefully you'll be a lot safer too. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.